Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Wa Laqibatu Al-Muntaqeen, Wa Salatu Wa Salamu Ala Sayyidi Al-Anbiya Wa Al-Mursaleen, Wa Ala Alihi Al-Tayyibin Al-Tahirin Wa Ashabihi Ajma'in, Amma Ba'd, Fa'audhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Al-Majib, Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Can we use inhalers whilst we are fasting? Does the use of asthma inhalers render our fast void? Does it break our fast? Simple answer is yes, using inhalers breaks the fast. Now, I've had several people asking that, well look, some scholars are saying that it should be permitted. Well, let me just break down the answer for you. In previous videos, I've also mentioned the age-old rule of Islamic law of fiqh that anything which enters the body through the large holes, the large orifices um, and enters the stomach or anything which enters the stomach directly. So for example, if you made a hole in the stomach, uh, you know, in your body and you, you put something into your stomach directly. Anything which enters the stomach through the large holes, your mouth, your nose, your back passage or enters the stomach directly will break your fast if it's been taken deliberately. So for example, if you um, ate something um, and you forgot you were fasting, that actually doesn't break your fast. So the, um, uh, the proviso here is that it is done deliberately. Based on this principle, inhalers contain several hundred micrograms of drug matter, which even though they seem to be air, they're not. When actuated, inhalers produce a cloud of suspended solid state particles, either in aerosol form or in dry powder form. These particles pass the throat to enter the trachea, which then the drug particles make their way to the lungs where they do their job, open up the airways, etc. etc. According to the rule of Islamic law that I've mentioned, a person using an inhaler has deliberately on purpose inserted the particles in their mouth where they then pass the throat. Now the misunderstandings which have led some scholars to render the use of inhalers as valid are as follows. First of all they say that the particles from the inhalers enter the lungs they don't enter the stomach. The answer to this is that yes indeed they do enter the uh, lungs and not the stomach they pass however they pass the throat and again in Sharia anything which passes the throat will also break the fast if it enters via the three main holes the or should I say that if it enters the nose or the mouth so here you deliberately putting the drug particles in your mouth they are then passing the throat and then from there they will then go either via the trachea into the lungs or the esophagus into the stomach. Number two, there's a rule that if anything is accidentally swallowed to the size of, of a sesame seed or smaller, this does not invalidate the fast. And in actual fact, if you collate all the drug particles of one or two puffs of an inhaler, they would not make the size of a sesame seed, therefore that shouldn't break the fast. Again, the point to note here is that accidentally swallowed. If you accidentally swallow something the size of a sesame seed, that doesn't break your fast. So if you have something stuck in your throat and, uh, sorry, stuck in your teeth and you swallowed it, um, that wouldn't break your fast if you accidentally swallowed it. You didn't spit it out, you swallowed it and then realized, oh, I was fasting. Here, with, drug, with inhalers and uh, the drug particles, you have deliberately put the drug particles in your mouth. So again, that rule doesn't apply. So when it comes to a deliberate action, the size doesn't matter. The, the sesame seed the size there is of uh, insignificance, it's inconsequential because it's a deliberate action. Number three, people say using an inhaler is like breathing in air and the answer is no it's not. The inhaler produces a cloud of minute drug particles. The particles of the medication dissolve in the saliva also as well as the particles entering the trachea into the lungs they will also 
dissolve into the saliva in the mouth and then that saliva will subsequently be swallowed so then again it will enter the uh, stomach. Furthermore, yes, the drug particles of an inhaler are designed to enter the lungs via the trachea. However, again, it is unavoidable that some drug particles will enter the esophagus and via the esophagus it, they will enter the stomach. So, all in all, the conclusion is that the use of an inhaler does break the fast and will render the fast void. I'd just like to add here that if you're, you have a medical condition which requires and necessitates the use of an inhaler, you may use it. If you are fasting at the time, your fast will break, however, you will not be liable for kafara. You won't have to pay compensation. You simply have to make up a gaza fast. Simply keep the fast on another day. For example, during the shorter winter months where you may be able to get away with keeping the short fast and not needing to use your inhaler. If you can't even fast a short day in the winter months without the use of an inhaler, then you will be exempt from fasting full stop and in that case again you can pay fidia and you can ask uh, a, a poor person to fast on your behalf inshallah with respect to uh, fidia and so on there will be another video which you will be able to view and understand the masals pertaining to that